What's going on guys, it's me and JT, but you can call me Nick and that's right, we're back and we're playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club, um, if you guys didn't check out last video, um, Sayori, um, she hanged herself, which was very, very dark, um, and now the game is just gone, there's a huge, the game's just gotten a whole lot weirder, and the game is taking a very dark turn now, because of all this weird text that's showing up. And at the start, where the, the um the um thing was glitched, and yeah, let's just play. Wow, how long has it how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back to flip through the older volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of affair, life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Ah, here we go. Now, um, I think Natsuki's the one who we spend time with now, um, instead of Yuri. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not, even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something you something you'd like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, it's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Excuse me. Much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser. So I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the crap out of me if he found this. Ooh. At least it's safe here in the club room. Kept, except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I can't just, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? You know, the rain just suddenly, all of a sudden, just got. Well, it didn't stop. But now it's a light sprinkle. And there's a bit more sunlight. Oh, whatever. I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're writing, you're enjoying yourself, right? So, haha. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Whoops, sorry. Yeah? Suddenly Natsuki collapses straight through me. Hey! Oh! Oh, jeez. That's right, I remember when we were reading with, um, Yuri, all of a sudden, um, Monica just comes out of nowhere, and, um, just sort of stops it, and, I don't know what just happened then, but, um, wow. That was, um, very... Creepy, nonetheless. That, that, geez, this game's actually scaring me now. When um, y um, Sayori died, I got scared, and now um, whatever. Anyway, let's just continue. Oh, geez, Natsuki, are you okay? Oh no, she's not. She literally just glitched out. Here, Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give him... 
She doesn't even finish her sentence before stu stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, NJT. She's fine. Oh, no, she's not. She literally just... Just happens every now and then. Wait, Monica, you know about this crap? That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Oh, no. I don't know who it... Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, NJT. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're... Wait, I wonder if the poems are going to be different. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like... Yeah, we know, 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 we know. Of course I'll be afraid to put things up. You're much better off just going with the flow until I'm settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha. Oh, I love you, Monica. You're my favourite. Don't worry, NJT. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But that's the sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. I like it, NJT. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Now your poem? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Tsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. Yeah, because I literally... Everything I did was an Atsuki, apparently. So take this as a compliment. Ha <laughs> ha. If you say so. Yep. If you write in... Wait, are you, if you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Haha. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's a fussy mood pretty often. Yeah, apparently Natsuki's dad is bad, according to what she said before. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down, like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she was so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. There's a reason Monica knows things, and she sort of... Since Monica's, like, she says some weird things, like, when she said to save your game. There's, there's something you guys will... Ha that will happen later on in the game, that'll make you all understand. But hey, some guys are into petite girls, you too, you know? So, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I'm always that. I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, is this different? Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. No, this is different. The poems are different. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking, or are they simply poems that on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. There I breathe this space before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. It's He's right here. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So what did you think? Mm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ha, huh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Was that the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of e epiphany re recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An empathy? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on and struggling. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica writing's tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Excuse me. Thanks for listening. Oh, big um, Yuri. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah, why do you ask? I'm just making sure. Yeah, she doesn't like it, I can tell, because I remember when we writ the poem, it was just Natsuki going, hop, 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 hop. I guess that it might be... In, that it might be after reading through it, 
Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that she, it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. Oh, keep clicking out of the game by accident. I think the most noticeable thing I, I recognize in new writers is that when they then they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form the, feet, the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Yeah, she definitely doesn't like it. Once she finishes her train of thought, it's as if her de demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's something you can be... You... Wait a minute. What does this skip option mean? No! No, no, no! Whoops! That was not what I meant to do. I guess that's what skip does. Um, I just wanted to test it out, because I remember before, there was no such thing as skip. But I think there's a reason to this. Is It's because the game's repeating. Sort of, but anyway, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't expect it to just go, <laughs> anyway, are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, NJT, really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Oh, she knows. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more, tell a simple story, or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only because... I didn't get scared by lightning. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remind, remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. And Mitsuki, of course. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Mitsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. And then what's the point of showing sharing a poem in the first place? I wrote this one, I could have been doing other things. Eh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted you to read poems? That's what I had in my mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Eh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, huh. well, it's not like that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. But I thought you... But... <clears throat> oh, Natsuki. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying that you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki's resort, res, res, retort gets caught in her throat. You, you're so... You, you just... You don't know how, any, understand anything, you know? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that you like my poem. poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Grr, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Oh, it's the simple one again. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race. No, so the poems are the same. Owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it because it's a crap poem. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems to, for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end. 
but then made a full flat on purpose. It helps me bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. Yeah, guess not. Guess not, guess not. I decided to humour her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nitsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even though they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand. Is it just me or was the music different then? This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyes brows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Y Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to her desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How cute? How can that be cute? I know that. Oh. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try the hard to come up with something nice to say? Uh, excuse me. Thanks, but it really it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and then JT did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect that to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And then JT liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Atsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, oh, and this is when she talks about her tits. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Eh. Y you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe that you're just jealous that NJT appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over hugely. Eh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as NJT started showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities and others like that, you really act as young as you- OH! Oi, 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 oi! Well, me, look who's talking, you- WHAT?! Edgy. Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for you to mentalize to comprehend. See? So guys, what's going on? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to- What's going on?! If you want to prove anything- Let's stop harassing your others with your sickening attitude. You think that you can, can counterbalance your toxic personality by just dressing up and acting cute. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, you. On my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the hell is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let NJT hear everything you really think. Oh my god, this is going insane. I'm sure he'll head over the hills with you after this. Ah, suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing there. And JT, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? what? Yuri. 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 Why can't I pick Yuri? <gasps> Monica? Um, hey and JT. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Monica, what the hell just happened? They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. I think if I picked Natsuki, it just would have zoomed in on Yuri anyway, but... Oh my god. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Haha. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. 
Man, that's three times this game has scared me. But I never ha but I never had it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're, go they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk, with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. Oh, God. I believe you. Why does she look weird? I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. NJT, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Oh, obviously. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it all about it tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit Monica longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. She's going to tell me something. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my... ...book with NJT. It would be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really- <laughs> ah! Okay, thanks game, that was really nice of you. <laughs> oh! oh no. Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Another day passes. It's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable. Yeah, I'm getting a little more uncomfortable. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, NJT. Ah, hi, half Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if Yuri's expression. Yeah. <laughs> But the weight of yesterday's crawl still hangs it in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. Surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arms and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday. I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't, don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me, anything let me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, NJT. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, sorry, what, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Oh, look, now they're friends. Yuri is clearly taken back by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Geez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's in your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Whoa, that was... But, I'll accept your apology anyway. If it makes you... <laughs> if it makes you feel better about it, 
Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I wasn't... Ah, oh, I've forgotten Natsuki's voice because of that. Hehe. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Haha. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey, suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry, and yeah, she's late. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. Haha. <laughs> Took you so long anyway. Ah. Oh. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Haha. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. No! You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Oh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Oh, there goes all my saves. So hopefully this saves as well, because if it doesn't, I'll be angry. Um, okay, this game has taken a very dark turn. Um, my saves are all gone. Well, I only had one, but still, this is a save. Um... Yeah, this game is going to get a lot more scarier. So yeah, please leave a like, guys, and subscribe. Next video, um, crap's going to go down. Bye-bye.